Hi, I'm Greg from the Timeless Traveling RVing and today we're going to lubricate the front chassis of our F53 Ford V10. All right, when you go online you can and you search Ford F53 chassis, you can pull up the lubrication points and that's what we're going to be doing today. There's nine points. Uh, this is a picture of it. It kind of helps us underneath what we're going to do today. And then the last one, number seven, uh, rear drag brace link. We're going to hold on to that and do that last because it requires a special tool on the grease gun to get to it. Okay, so the first one we're going to do, if you have the schematic, if you can get that, is number five, which, which is called the left tie rod end. So it's right here under the brake. And it's very awkward to do this, so. All right, and you're just gonna squeeze. You just gotta get it right. Here we go. There we go. And you can see the grease coming out the top. See it right there? And that's it. So you're gonna pull that down. All right, when it clear, you don't want to get any grease on the brake, on the rotor. So we're going to come up, clean it, and that's it. All right, the next one I'm on is the, the number one point, or the left king upper pin. So she's on the top, and it's kind of awkward. And we're going to squish the handle. And you got to make sure she stays. And she's coming out right there. See it right here? The grease is coming out right there. All right, and then we're done with that one. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is the left tie rod end. And it's hooked up, and we're squeezing the grease. And you can see it coming out now right here. All right, and that one's done. And the next one we're doing is number eight, which is the front drag link. Let's hold that. And that's it. All right, and the next one we're gonna hit is the steering gear, number nine in the schematic, which is all the way up top. And that's it. And we're done with that. All right. Okay, we moved to the right side and now we're doing the right tie rod end. All right, just gonna squeeze. I can hear it coming out. And I see it and we're done. Now we're moving to the right king pin lower and we're squeezing in some grease, and I can hear her. And here it comes right out here. Watch, we'll do one more. There you go. That's it for that. And the last one we're gonna do is the right kingpin upper. And there's the grease coming out right here. You can see it. And that's it, that one's done. And the last grease fitting, uh, we have to use an offset 90 degree because we can't get the, the tool in. So that's this one. And we're squishing. And the grease is coming out on the top. It's really hard to see it, but the grease is coming out. And that's it. All right, the products we're using are pretty simple, uh, everyday garage um, items. A grease gun, a standard grease gun, and the grease I'm using today is a Lucas Red and Tacky Grease, which is a multi-purpose EP grease or extreme pressure grease, which is made for uh, ball bearings and front end lubrications. Also, like I said, we have a 90 degree grease coupler, which we're gonna need for that one point because you can't get this you can't get this piece around underneath because of the braces in the way. 
Okay, that's it for today. And remember to try to get that chart in front of you so you know which points you need to lubricate. Just take your time, one at a time, and you'll be fine. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below. This way you know when another new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and remember, traveling is timeless.